Now, I need to know, what were you doing under the ring? You know, hanging out, having a good time. Yes. Uh, making sure that my good friend, uh, Orange Cassidy, was going to be just fine in this mm-hmm. match, which he was, you saw. Did this and yes, you helped him. He decimated him. I think, uh, I think uh, he won because of you. Probably, yes. Yes, yes. Definitely. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. This week we are here for Dynamite, a live Dynamite, and a taped Rampage. Plus, I will be going to the Hall of Fame Museum with some of my pals, literally right after this. I'm about to head out. Other than that, who knows what I'll get into. Head back home to Canada over this weekend. Uh, Start packing because I just bought a new house. Hopefully do some Twitch streaming. Who knows what I'll get on here. I do have a big Simpson figurine box of uh, over 20 figurines I do have to unpack. So I'll probably throw that on uh, towards the end of this vlog. And then uh, who uh, who knows what else I'll get into. I genuinely do not know. My days start off a complete blank and then they fill up fairly quickly. So let's not delay this and let's go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is great. I think I found my calling in life. <laughs> you finally found it. And it's not this. <laughs> oh, wait. Then your pinky finger on string four. Daniel, hello. What's up? How the most doing? fashionable man in professional wrestling. I wouldn't say all that. I mean, you're up there. You're up there. This is a personal there? opinion. Ooh. It's a personal opinion. I'm just, I'm trying to give you your flowers here. Thank you. I mean, I think a lot of people would say otherwise. Oh, no, definitely. Yeah, You've already been a insulted of, a few times. Yeah, people yeah. are making fun of my outfit a bunch there. I know. I, mean, I like it. You know? They don't, I love it. I, they don't understand. You Look at me, this. You want me to give the rundown? Yeah, please. So, so people don't know this, but uh, Danny is my fashion expert. Yes, so. this is a uh, cafe trucker hat. Uh-huh. It's a brand from Buffalo. Oh, so it's a brand. It's not even something you found at a gas station. Right? No, it's, oh, it's, hell a, yeah. it's a brand. Oh, hell yeah. Even better. They make hats like Westside Gun wears them all the time and stuff. Okay. This is a fanny pack that my mom got me for Christmas. Beautiful, beautiful. That That's just there. utilities. That's not yeah, even, it's utilities. not a fashionable thing. It's just very I mean, useful. It, it can be if you wear it with a Yeah, yeah. Sherpa from Uniqlo, mm-hmm. the website from Japan. My brother got it from me a couple years ago from Japan. Costly? Um, those can those can lean, yeah. Okay. Somewhere, okay. Somewhere. Well, you've got your trademark uh, My faded baby trademark blues. Trademark faded baby blue jeans that I got from the yeah. Gap. And now you gotta tell me about your latest acquisition because right. this is my latest acquisition. I got these yesterday at the mall, at finish line. These are my shoes. They're kind of like slippers. They're North Face brand. Yeah. They only cost fifty five dollars. They look comfortable as hell. They're so comfortable. I'll take them off. They're so comfortable. Yeah, you might find. 
Yeah. You mind if I touch these bad boys? On the inside, they got fur. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. You can't tell from the lighting, but these are legitimately yellow. Yeah, like which straight up yellow. They pop out, and honestly, that's what I like. The bottom has a nice traction, like a mm -hmm. blue bottom, so you don't slip in the snow. Oh yeah, look at that. And yeah. um, yeah, I like them. They have these in, at the store I run, they had them in black and in yellow. And I figured if you're gonna get a shoe like this that looked like a boat, <laughs> like you gotta get them in yellow to make Oh yeah, absolutely. You, know yeah, you don't wanna get that and get like, I don't know, like a light brown. Even in black, like you can't go halfway with something like this. You gotta get the most No, you got you, out it's gotta to pop because the, 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 the shoes to begin with pop. So exactly. you gotta make attention to it, right? I mean they're comfortable. And you're you're a high sock kind of guy too. Always, you know? yeah. I mean high sock well, always. If I'm wearing baggy pants, yeah. I go high sock. Yeah. Especially with a certain color shoe that I wear. And I, then you do short socks with tight pants, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Because the long socks, they can accentuate and make your sneakers stand out more if they have some white in there. So see, I'm not much of a sneaker head. I've never really cared for shoes. So yeah. to me, socks are like, I'm wearing like, all right, let's see. Let's see what the hell I'm wearing nowadays. Oh let's my go God. Uh, I've got a, I've got a Martian Manhunter socks right now. Hey, that's a, that, yeah, that's not your bad. Style. And that's, you pull that's, it off. that's me. I go exactly. I go loud on one piece of item you have to, you have every to. week. And they stand out because of it. Thank you. you know? Hey, you know that's what I'm looking for. Of that's course. exactly what I'm looking yeah. for. Because you, you wear like I look pl I go plain and plain, then I go plain, one plain stand out. Yeah, one yeah. stand out and then I usually like this is a trademark Canadian boy thing. Mm -hmm. the flannel. Uh, I got to do flannel. It's, it's to. Canada's all about the flannel. So what's your one tactic on fashion so I can start taking this seriously? I think just wear like never wear something that you're gonna feel uncomfortable in mm -hmm. like man should i wear this? comfort I'll, first right yeah always wear something that you're gonna feel confident in because if you wear something that you're not confident you're never gonna look good because it's not about what you wear it's about how you wear it absolutely absolutely and wear your clothes don't let your clothes wear you yes yes hey look at you put those on shirts you ever thought about putting out you should that'd be smart Andy garcia shirts coming right up wear your clothes don't wear your clothes wear you absolutely well thank you for the advice and uh Maybe we'll go shopping someday. Yes, sir. We've talked about it for a while now. And screw Alan Angel. Yes, seriously. Alan, if you're watching this, which you aren't because you're you're one of Sammy's log boys, um, he wants to fight. You see these arms? You see these hands? Buffalo, New York, boy. That's right. South Buffalo. Local tough, man. Local tough. See you boys around next time. Alex Abrahantis. Well, hello, Evil Uno. If you watch Alex's vlog, the Elite Soup, you will see the exact reverse angle of this. Yeah, actually, same it's, seats. it's a little bit this way, but now we're we're focused on a different angle. We even here, own so the same show. phone. I mean, we don't we don't <laughs> text from the same phone, but it's physically the yeah. same uh, same phone. Exactly. Uh, we just came back from uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We sure did. Very impressive. Very um, impressive. I have been there before, but they had a lot of new stuff this year. Uh, what are some of the cool stuff you got to see today? Well, I think it's really cool how obviously they have it broken down in different sections. Like mm -hmm. the Beatles has a section, Elvis has a section, so that's really cool. You know, I'm you a big these... Elvis fan, so like my, oh, my yeah? so uh, my my mom uh, like raised me listening to Elvis. So seeing that stuff, like this is the second time I saw it, and I think I gravitated towards that most. Anyways, I started reading like every little detail because I can I, I remember each outfit because my mom was such a, a big Elvis fan when I was a kid. So that's really great. And, mm -hmm. and it, it, stuff like that is so cool because you see stuff on TV, but then you see it in person. Oh, yeah. Like the, the Jimi Hendrix bus. Is that what it was? Yes. That yeah. kind of floored me. I was like, how small is this mm -hmm. thing? Yet you were OK to fit. Oh, I don't know how many people in that thing. And I'm like, is this real? And we're talking about small too. Like we had a pretty crazy revelation. Prince is a small man. A lot of people. Yeah. We discovered a lot of these artists are tiny. We, oh my God! Their like, clothing could fit around my thigh. <laughs> it's insane. It's really insane. We were just, you know, because everybody I think looks bigger on TV. Absolutely. And then you see what they wear in person, which we got a chance to see that. We went mm -hmm. inside the vault and we saw different. Clothing. We saw some really neat stuff in there. For really sure. cool stuff. Uh, we saw some of Prince's outfits. We saw members of the Who. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, larger exhibit, this was the one that really made me feel like. Wow, people are much smaller than I, I, I ever think of it. I never thought Pat Benatar was a huge person or anything mm -hmm. like that. 
I would assume. Okay, she's 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 normal. She size. literally so they showed this Halloween costume which she was known for wearing. Mm -hmm. It was so small. Yeah. It was the size of like a phone book. <laughs> like all yeah. around, it was insane. It's it insane is. to think. I just, it made me realize like is Pat Benatar like four foot eleven or something? You never Maybe. know. You never know. I, I could Google it. But. I was shocked at how tall Rihanna is. Super tall. Right? Because that outfit that, that outfit they showed us. Fit all, I was whoa. like, are you kidding me? That was like, I mean, Luchasaurus could probably, probably from yeah. a height standpoint, fit in that thing. Like, she's very tall. Yeah, it's very, uh, a lot of really wild stuff there. And honestly, like, rock stars have some pretty cool jackets, I will say. They have some I, really cool jackets. I was more interested, like, I'm not, I, I like music. I, don't get me wrong. I think everyone likes music. Of that, that's a general statement. But I'm not, like, a historian in any way when it comes to this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just fascinated with seeing other people's stuff, to be honest. And I think I was more into the fashion of a rock star than anything else. You know why? I think it's because we live in this world of pro wrestling. and Pageantry. It's like, yeah, That's and it's it. like, oh, this is a great gimmick. Like, what a great, yes. like, everything I looked at, I'm like, that'd make a great entrance jacket. Oh, yeah. Jacket. I, I mean, we, you straight up told me that about, <laughs> um, oh, my, a Bon Jovi jacket, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah bon Jovi yeah. had, like, a leather uh, trench that said Bon Jovi and then New Jersey on the bottom. I'm like, I should copy That's that. That's a pay-per-view jacket That's right there. That's a pay-per-view jacket. Um, I saw, like, a, I saw an Elton John one that was just, like, a velvet jacket that I was like, you know, I could support this. I could definitely. So like, I, I'm pretty fast. I think I'm going to go back and watch some old uh, rock stuff because they were so stylish in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. You Nowadays we wear it. plain clothes and yeah. like. And that's it, call it a day. That's it. And I'll take it I, I, on Instagram. I, look, don't take, it, don't take it wrong. I love plain clothes. I also like a wild shirt though. Yeah, hey, I gotta you know, you got to mix it up. You got to mix it up. Don't hit the middle. You want you you want no. plain or you want crazy? Yeah, that's you gotta, how you, you want. You got to bust it out sometimes and you know step outside of that box. That's right. Well, Alex, uh, yeah, of course you have your own uh, vlog. Would you like yep. to plug it while we're here? Sure thing. So it's called Elite Soup. It's a vlog about vlogs. So I uh, take the highlights of everybody's vlogs, mm -hmm. let you know what's coming up the following episode or vlog, if you will, and what transpired in the previous vlog, mm -hmm. so that you kind of get caught up to speed on what everybody's doing. Very helpful for all of us, to be honest. Like, well, thank you. You can see me there. You can see Ethan Page. You can see uh, Thunder Rosa. You can see Ali. Who else has a vlog at this point? Cesar Bonini. Uh, Sammy. Uh, Sam. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, he, he one of the first. Yeah. Uh, BTE. Have you had a Cutler on there? No, see, here's the thing. People don't associate it with Cutler. Yeah, I think that BTE feels more like its own sketch comedy production It's show. like a collaboration. Yeah, it? it's yeah. a collaboration of all these great bits where... A vlog is essentially almost like a day in the life. Mm -hmm. It's driven by like one personality most Right, of the time. Yeah. yeah, and kind of what's tra transpiring during that week where BTE is such a combination of different things that I don't know that I could consider it necessarily a vlog. Hmm. True, true. Who do you think is our next person to have a vlog? Because you know it's going to happen. It's infectious. It is absolutely I've infectious. been trying to push Luther into doing it. Him and Serpentico. Oh, I think that'd be fun. Be they great. Also, Luther loves to do like, I don't know if you've seen Luther's channel, go check out his YouTube mm -hmm. channel. He does like haunting, like haunted walks, and he does like, uh, will read people's haunted stories. I'm like just fascinated with what his daily life would be. Oh, he's great. He, yeah. he's, you could sit down and, and listen to him read a book. He's so yes. captivating. Yeah, very knowledgeable. And very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that'd be great. I think Ty was talking about doing kind of a spinoff. I mean, vlog. at this point, she, she might as well. She should. She might as well. She should. And I feel like there's somebody else that I was talking to who's uh, on the cusp of uh, vlog stardom, but I can't recall off the top of my head. My list. warning to all of you is hard work. It oh ain't as easy as it seems. It is so much It hard is work. so hard. Like. Like we have, we have to find each other each, each week to talk mm -hmm. to each other. Then I have to find someone else. Then I have to force conversations. Then you got to get footage. Sometimes you come to arenas and like, I, you're probably the same way. I take a lot of B-roll of the arenas because I want to remember where I've been. Yeah. Every week, you can only take so many shots of this entrance. Oh yeah. So many shots of yep. seats. And then you um, forget where you are. Yes. You're like, wait, what was that? And what is this place? Yeah, yeah. It all blends together. That's our life though. I mean, we, we live a pretty amazing oh, life. Oh, definitely. I, I would never take it for granted. That's why we do these vlogs. Too. Yeah. Well, Alex. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, Evil Uno. I just got to the gym. It's... I don't know. It could be small. It looks small. Oh, I see that? Can you, can you see? Yeah, anyway. Let's discover a gym. All right. Here we go. And... Oh, it's bad. Okay. hey -o. We've got Paul, our ref. Two treadmill, a bicycle. A single... Oh, no, it's broken. Is it broken? Yeah, it's broken. One treadmill and it's broken. There is the classic hotel cable machine and a bench. A bench and nothing else. That is pretty bad. Wait. No, okay. No way. So, okay. So there's 
a door here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's an actual gym hiding behind those doors. It's like a small hotel in there. What the shnut is this? This could have been a pretty bad gym, but there's a gym there. So I'm gonna try to make a call to have this unlock. Otherwise, this is a bad gym, but not for the good reasons. It's locked. Anyway, I wanna make a few calls. Let's see if I access the uh, hidden gym. Okay, I don't know what to think now. I just don't know what to think. Because when I walk into that gym, at first I thought, it's a gym. But then, it wasn't. But then, it was. But not for the right reasons. It was just, it was just confusing. It was a roller coaster of emotions. And I hated it. I hate emotions. That's why I always stay away from them. But that gym, ooh, those locked doors with another gym behind the doors who did that who hurt you damn i mean i still manage to do a really good workout because i don't need much to do so it was a really solid back workout lots of reps lots of movements because i couldn't really go heavy and i almost this this close to do a deadlift with the cable machine but i couldn't because i was a little too tall short i don't even know but i needed a little step where was that little step i needed behind the locked doors so i i don't even know i cannot give rigor stews or, or angry stews as a rating i have to give it a, uh, one and a half confused stew that very confused stew okay i am not happy with this experience that oh no just keep doing your things while i'm trying to repair the broken emotions or what bye Yes. You, you're in my workplace. Yes, you could do that trick you do, what do you say? I did. I oh. did. I did. You're but my coworker now. And hasn't connected. He didn't go on the internet yet. Ah, uh, yes. But apparently, it 
is quite the place. Yes, the internet is uh, quite an amazing place indeed. Uh, I don't know if uh, you should open it up. Your phone may be, uh, may explode. You have like four text messages. <laughs> wow, that, that is a record. I'm with Chris Hero. Oh, Chris yeah, Hero. Good friends. Good friends, Chris Hero. Now, I need to know, what were you doing under the ring? You know, hanging out, having a good time. Yes. Uh, making sure that my good friend, uh, Orange Cassidy, was going to be just fine in this mm -hmm. match, which he was, you saw. Basically. Yes, you helped him. He decimated him. I think, uh, I think uh, he won because of you. Probably, yes. yes, yes. Definitely. It's, now, it's, now we are co-workers. We are. What, we do, what do we do from here? Can I have your money? You give your checks to Dan. Uh, Canadian, okay with you? I suppose it's worthless. Okay, though. let's. Oh well, I don't have it on. But it me. is cool. In the it is. It's got. It's colorful. I like the purple one. I, well, that's uh, that's a ten dollar bill. It matches your mess. Oh, I thank you. I thank you. I have. A, I only have a, a five. It's blue. Do you like blue? Yeah. Nah. Take that. We'll, we'll get the ten later. Okay, I'll get you a ten another time. Okay. okay well, like good. Uh, we'll say goodbye. See you later. Ah. I returned to Canada. Yay! Yay! This is like the norm. We do this every time. Every time. Yeah, I returned to Canada. Yay! It's, 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 I'm excited to return. No, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like uh, the, the message is getting repetitive. My, my love is repetitive? No, no, no. I'm just saying like uh, <laughs> when the, the outro to our, our vlogs, it just sounds the same. Here, let, let's try it this time. Booming. Okay, you uh, ready? Okay, 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 okay. All right. I've returned to Canada. Boom! How dare you! <laughs> You're supposed to love me. I do love you. Uh, we're, I'm back in Canada. I'm back home. Uh, we're actually minutes away to, from Twitch streaming. Well, you're going to see it. For once, you're going to see it. I'm going to put it on this uh, vlog. We're going to be unboxing a box of uh, Simpson figurines that I paid $200 for. <laughs> 250 actually. Ah, uh, well, you know, well, the shipping and all that. But it, it, there's honestly more value in the box than, the, than what I paid for. Uh, and plus it will be added on to the multiple things I have already in this collection. So lots of Simpson figures, yeah. lots of Simpson figures. But back in Canada, I would get to be here for a few days. We bought a house. Yay! We bought a house, we got to move. So a very, very busy weekend for us. First some Twitch streaming and then probably a buttload of packing. Lots of packing. So much packing. Miss Suno owns a lot of clothing. That's not true. We actually, you own more I than do I do. <laughs> and also, I throw clothing out like every three weeks and I still have too much clothing. Everyone just gives me free shirts. Free shirts. Okay. Oh, talk about free shirts. Shout out to my friend, uh, BMD Bud, uh, on Twitch. Miss Suno got this one for free. I want it. She won it. She's a big fan. Also, she hates I'm going to beat him up. Both. Both. Anyways, on Twitch to do uh, our Twitch streams. Look, I've caught, I, I brought you here to Twitch. I brought you here to this very room, aka the, to my room in my house, to show you the Simpson toys that I've purchased. So, I'm going to show you everything that's in my box. What box? <laughs> this box of diapers right here. Yay! Which is full, oh my god, this is heavy, of Simpson figures. So, first up <laughs> is the Springfield DMV set. Now, that looks really cool, but there's a surprise. There's actually figurines in here too. <laughs> there, there's a, there, oh my God. <laughs> there's Hans Mole Man doing I don't know what to these two other characters. Um, Patty and Selma. <laughs> of course, Patty and Selma. Springfield DMV, here it is, voila. In, with, with Patty and Selma and the Mole Man. Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. It says press button to hear Selma, but... Try me. Next up is... This is uh, the Krusty Burger with the Pimply Face Team. Where is he? Well, there he is. <laughs> Wait, is that someone on the floor? It is. It's the <laughs> sailor. It's the captain. <laughs> it's the captain. And the Pimply Face Team. There he is. There they are. My God. Isn't this... Crazy. The most professional unboxing of figures you've ever seen. Try me. Next up, you may know these as Millhouse and Rainier Wolfcastle, but they are in fact Radioactive Man and Fallout Boy on the lunar base. On the lunar base. Is there an action figure for his stunt double? Oh god, I hope so. There that, must be. Mickey Rooney. That would be great. That would be great. Next up, we've got the Noiseland Arcade. 
Noise Land, Arcade. Who's in it? Well, we've got Jimbo. We've got, oh my God, I can't. Let me actually look inside. Oh my God, what are their names? Kearney, uh... Kearney, Jimbo. What's the long haired dude's name? Oh crap, I can't remember his name. We've got Jimbo. Dolph, Dolph is the short haired guy. Dolph, Jimbo. Kearney's in there. Kearney, just rested. Just having a nap. Beautiful. And finally. Oh, this one's even, <laughs> this box oh, is even no. worse shape. It's the Springfield Elementary Cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. Because you're tired. <laughs> it's got, it's got Ooter in it and uh, Lunch Lady and Super Nintendo Chalmers, who's doing a breakdance move. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect nice. shape. Oh, sweet Uter. Sweet. Gunther? Oh, that was Uter. No, it's Uter. It is Uter. Okay, good. That is it as That's far it. as new Simpson figures in my collection. Thank you for watching that. That was a little unruly. And that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I am actually not home right now because I forgot to film an outro for this. And so I am filming this quite late. I am in a car, but let this be a preview for next week as uh, we will be going to Chicago. So do check it out next Friday uh, of next week. And I appreciate you all coming in, leaving your comments and dropping your likes down below. Okay, I'm out of here.